Ali, local forces seeking reunification with Somalia has said on Saturday they seized a control of military base housing Somaliland troops during heavy fighting in the Las Arnold town. In a video circulated online, the local forces displayed tanks and other military vehicles seized after overrunning Gulwale military base from Somaliland troops. Local forces seeking reunification with Somalia said on Saturday they had seized control of a military base housing Somaliland troops during heavy fighting in the town of Las Arnold. In a video circulated online, the local forces displayed tanks and other military vehicles seized after overrunning Gulwade military base from Somaliland troops. It came following weeks of deadly clashes between the two sides that have left dozens of people dead and forced tens of thousands of residents to flee their neighborhoods. At least 602 people were injured in three weeks long fighting between Somaliland forces and the vigilantes in Las Arnold, medics confirmed. This comes a day after the this comes a day after Dr. Abdmajit Hussein Sugule, who spoke to the VOA, Somali service said that five hospitals in the town were running out of medical supplies and bed space as more injured and dead people were brought into the facilities each day. Sugule said this week that 105 people had been killed and 55 others wounded. On Thursday, officials from the U.S. Embassy in Mogadishu visited Somaliland, where they condemned fighting in Las Arnold and called for a ceasefire. Armed locals in Las Arnold, the capital of the Seoul region, are fighting to form their own administration which comprises of the Seoul, Senegan and region. Despite these calls, shelling and gunfire has continued as both sides have dug trenches to defend their positions. Somaliland President Musa Bihi announced last week he will be dispatching clan elders to seek an end to the violence. However, the clan elders in the battle-battered town demanded that Somaliland pull out his troops first as a precondition for a dialogue. Now, the Somali Journalist Syndicate, Somali Mechanism so for Safety of Journalists, the Somali Media Association, SOMA and SIMHA, have condemned in the strongest, strongest terms possible the arbitrary and the unlawful arrest of against the Secretary General of Somali Journalist Syndicate, Abdallah Mu'min. The Somali Journalist Syndicate, SJS, Somali Mechanism for Safety of Journalists, SMSJ, the Somali Media Association, SMOA, and Somali Independent Media House Association, SIMHA, condemn in the strongest term possible the arbitrary and the lawful arrest against the Secretary General of the Somali Journalist Syndicate, Abdullah Ahmed Momin, by members of the Somali Police and the National Intelligence and Security Agency at Jazeera Hotel in Mogadishu. One plain cloth intelligence officer and uniformed police approached Abdullah Ahmed Momin, the Secretary General of the Somali Journalist Syndicate, while at Jazeera in Mogadishu, where he was attending a public consultation event organized by the Senate Finance Committee. Abdullah was put on police vehicle and was taken to Mogadishu Central Prison, where he is currently held. His arrest was ordered by the regional police chief Mahdi Omar Momin. It's not clear the reason behind his arrest, and the police and Nisa members who arrested him did not show an arrest warrant. On 13 February 2023, Benadir Regional Court sentenced Abdullah Mohamed Momin to two month prison, a verdict rejected by officials of the Mogadishu Central Prison, who dismissed his imprisonment, saying that he had already served the two month sentence since he was arrested in October 11, 2022. Now, at least two Kenyan police officers were Friday killed and two others went missing after the, uh, their vehicle was hit by, by an explosive device near Kenya's border with Somalia. According to a statement by the police, the land cruiser carrying four police officers was extensively damaged by aid suspected to have been planted on the road at Haragbul area along the Dab Garissa main supply route. At least two Kenyan police officers were Friday killed and two others went missing after their vehicle was hit by an explosive near a device Kenyan's border with Somalia. According to a statement by the police, the land cruiser carrying four police officers was extensively damaged by the IED suspected to have been planted on the road at Habargul area along the Dadab Garissa main supply road. Northeastern Regional Police Boss George Seda confirmed the incident and added a response team has been sent to the scene. He said the search for the missing officers was ongoing. The incident comes barely 10 days after three police officers drawn from the border patrol unit 
were killed along the road and where an explosive blew up their vehicle. Suspected Al-Shabaab militants are reportedly roaming the area planting improvised explosive devices along the main roads. Garissa County, which sits on the Kenya-Somalia border, continues to face threat of attacks from the Shabab Chera outfit due to the vast and porous border which has made it easier for terrorist elements to infiltrate the country and stage attacks. The election of HOPE 86 seat was today held in the capital Mogadishu and was contested by two candidates, namely Abdirazak Bukhari and Mohammed Sheikh Ahmed. As announced by the elections committee, Dr. Mohammed Sheikh Ahmed won the seat after, the, after his competitor Abdirazak Bukhari Ahmed withdrew from the race. The election of the HOPE 86 seat, which was held today in Mogadishu, was contested by two candidates namely Abdirzak Bukhari Ahmed and Dr. Muhammad Sheikh Ahmed Muhammad, who contested for the seat. As announced by the elections committee, Dr. Muhammad Sheikh Ahmed Muhammad won the seat after his competitor Abdirzak Bukhari Ahmed withdrew from the race. He received all the votes of the 98 delegates who attended the election, which led him to becoming a member of the People's Assembly as announced by the election committee. This seat, which was previously won by Fahd Yassin, was nullified because fate the electoral committee said the legal procedures set for the election was not passed on the process raising questions of integrity and the position had been vacant for the past few months. Dr. Mohammed Sheikh Ahmed Mohammed was preserved for this seat by the government of Somalia, according to reports. As a result of the election, five candidates were excluded, including the former deputy director of the office of the presidency, Noor Mohammed Ahmed. Thank you so much for watching Dalsan TV. My name is Abdul Zakali. Have a good evening.